Uninstalling pre-installed apps on your Android device can be a significant step towards optimizing your user experience. Many users find themselves frustrated by the presence of unwanted applications that come preloaded on their devices. These applications, often referred to as bloatware, not only take up valuable storage space but can also clutter your app drawer, making it challenging to locate the applications you genuinely use. Fortunately, if you have a rooted Android device, you have the capability to remove these applications easily using Magisk in conjunction with the dBloater app. This guide will walk you through the necessary steps to uninstall pre-installed apps safely and effectively. Once you've completed the routing process and confirmed that Magisk is working properly, you can proceed to the next steps with confidence. With Magisk installed and running, the next step is to download the dBloater app. This application is readily available on GitHub, and I've included a direct link in the description box below. It's essential to ensure that you download the correct version of the dBloater app compatible with your device. Once you click on the link, you will be redirected to the GitHub repository where you can find the latest release. GitHub is a platform that hosts a wide range of open-source projects, including many useful tools for Android users. The dBloater app is designed specifically to help users remove bloatware and unwanted applications from their devices efficiently. After downloading the dBloater app, the next step is to install it on your device. Before opening the app, make sure that you have granted all the necessary permissions to ensure that it can function correctly. The dBloater app requires super user permissions to operate effectively. When you first launch the app, a prompt will appear asking for super user access. Be sure to click on Grant to allow the app to perform its intended functions. Granting super user permissions is a crucial step in ensuring that the app can communicate with your device at a system level, allowing it to identify and remove pre-installed applications without any hindrances. Now that the dBloater app is open and has been granted the required permissions, you can start the process of uninstalling the pre-installed apps. The user interface of the dBloater app is designed to be straightforward and user-friendly, making it easy to navigate through the different options available. Upon opening the app, the first thing you will notice is a list of applications installed on your device. This list includes both user-installed apps and system apps, which are the ones you want to focus on when trying to free up space on your device. To make the process of finding the apps you want to uninstall easier, it may be beneficial to familiarize yourself with the names of the apps that commonly come pre-installed on your device. Apps like YouTube, YouTube Music, MI Browser, and Game Center are often found on many Android devices, and these are some of the apps that users commonly choose to uninstall. It's crucial to be cautious during this step. Some system applications are essential for the proper functioning of your device, and removing them could lead to stability issues or hinder certain functionalities. It's always advisable to do a bit of research on the applications you plan to uninstall. A good practice is to write down the names of the apps you intend to remove, ensuring that you won't accidentally delete something important that your device relies on. Once you've identified the apps you want to uninstall, tap on each app in the list. For every app you wish to remove, look for the Remove button, which is typically found at the bottom of the App Details page. When you click this button, the dBloater app will initiate the process of uninstalling the selected application. The process usually takes just a few seconds, and you'll receive a notification once the app has been successfully removed from your system. After you've removed the desired apps, you may still see them listed in your app drawer or settings menu. This is completely normal and to be expected. The dBloater app does not always update the visible app list immediately after uninstallation. To refresh the system and clear out any remnants of the uninstalled apps, it's essential to restart your device. This step is critical because it helps finalize the uninstallation process and refreshes the app cache, ensuring that your device accurately reflects the changes made during the uninstallation. When your device has restarted, Check your app drawer or settings again to confirm that the unwanted applications have indeed been removed. You should notice that the apps you uninstalled are no longer present, which means that you've successfully freed up space and reduced clutter on your device. Additionally, this can lead to improved performance as fewer background processes will be running. It's a small change that can make a significant difference in how your device operates. If, after restarting, you find that you are still seeing the apps despite following the steps provided, 
double-check to ensure that you have granted the necessary permissions to the dBloater app. Occasionally, minor permission issues can prevent the app from working correctly. If all else fails, you might want to consider repeating the uninstallation process or consulting online forums for troubleshooting tips specific to your device model. There are many communities online, including Reddit and various Android forums, where experienced users share their insights and tips for managing rooted devices. In conclusion, uninstalling pre-installed apps on your Android device using Magisk and the dBloater app is a straightforward yet highly effective method for customizing your device to better suit your needs. By following the steps outlined in this guide, installing Magisk, downloading the dBloater app, granting it super user permissions, and carefully selecting the apps to uninstall, you can take control of your Android experience. It's a powerful way to personalize your device and enhance its performance by removing unnecessary clutter. While the process may seem daunting at first, especially for users who are new to routing, following these steps will enable you to confidently manage the applications on your device. Always remember to proceed with caution when dealing with system applications, as removing the wrong app can lead to functionality issues. However, by taking the time to understand what each app does and the role it plays on your device, you can confidently remove bloatware and enhance your overall Android experience. This method not only declutters your device but can also improve performance, making it an excellent practice for any Android user who values a streamlined and efficient mobile experience. If you found this guide helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing for more tech tips and tutorials. Don't forget to check the description box for the link to the dBloater app and feel free to leave any questions or comments below.